Yeah, can we fix the uh, ISO aperture balance of the uh, wipe? Yes, I'm a director, obviously, okay? I'm a multi-hyphenate, but not as multi-hyphenate as my guest today. Completely self-made. He is with over a billion streams. Billion with a B. With a B. He made the soundtrack to my entire life. Give it up for Russ. What up, what up? Is there a dog on your lap? Hey! Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love, who is this? My little girl, Chloe. I'm getting a two for one right now. Hi, Chloe. I'm trying to be good. She can't help it. <laughs> Russ, I am so excited to talk to you. I think you are one of the dopest humans on the planet. I want to dive into your brain and just swim. I want to swim in your brain for a second. Can I do that? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so you, in my opinion, are the opposite of an overnight success. I feel like you have such a unique story and rise to fame. How did you get the fan base you have right now? really just consistency uh it was a mixture of quantity and quality because you know my whole come up was built on just flooding you know so starting december 2011 uh to like september 2014 i put out 11 mixtapes you know that were all done by me and that didn't work and then i did a song a week for like two and a half years you know and that's when i started to build the fan base i'm loving this confidence i need i, I feel like rubbing myself like i want this confidence on me were you always confident like you had no doubts ever just from the get-go no, like no 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 at the beginning i did when i was you know eight or nine around that age and i was just writing raps in a notebook like i don't know i feel like any eight or nine year old is confident in whatever they do you don't even have the ability to care about whatever people think but it was probably senior year when i was we were about to graduate and i was like i first asked my brother and he was like yeah why not because i wasn't that i wasn't confident in my voice because i had never I'd never been on a microphone. I wasn't sure about it like that, but once Boogus put the battery in my back, it was a wrap. I was like, cool, say less. If, if you like it, if you think it's dope, out of here. So then I just went crazy. Supporting your friends and supporting people actually goes a long way. Like if it wasn't for that moment, like you said, if he was like, nah, man, like maybe, maybe it'll be whack. Like you might not be Russ. <laughs> You know, yeah. like that's yeah. crazy. You've always been such a positive rapper. Like at least that's my personal opinion as well. You know, Do It Myself was literally the soundtrack for my career. Has it been hard throughout these years, evolving your career, getting bigger, getting more famous, getting more money? Has it been yeah. hard to stay positive though? Super hard. Uh, and it didn't have anything to do with like the money or whatever. It more so had to do with the fact that being positive and being just delusionally confident when I was a quote unquote nobody was really, really easy because there was no one there to dispute my confidence and belief because there was no fan. Mm -hmm. I've followed you for a long time. You're very wise. You're very positive. You're very confident. Are you a Virgo, Leo, Libra? Libra. Libra. I just feel like you were born on a day where like heroes are born. When were, what's your, when's your birthday again? <laughs> September 26th. That's crazy. Me too. Yeah. That is my birthday. Why do you think I, I did like this we, whole setup to get here? <laughs> have we talked about this before? I think I tweeted you because we are birthday twins. So I'm taking all the credit for you being wow. amazing. I'm like, Incredible. that's why we're amazing. <laughs> okay, Russ, I have to ask you about this because I'm a huge Rihanna fan. Rihanna posted the thirstiest of thirst traps to best on earth. I know you know what I'm talking about because I see the smile yeah. on your face. What were you shook? Well, like, what did that feel like? I'll always remember where I was when I saw that post. It was 9.30 at night, you know what I'm saying? It was around that time I was standing in my, like, in my sitting room, and <laughs> and I saw that, and I remember just screaming. Like, like I just won the NBA championship, just screaming and, like, calling my friends and like, yo, do you see this? Ah, it's just going insane. So if you were to sit here right now as an artist and be like, yeah, I'm going to post a song and within 24 hours, Rihanna's going to post it and say it's her favorite song and she's going to be walking in slow motion. To it. The That's slow motion was the icing on top. I know, Russ, you've dropped so many hits over the years. You just dropped one. It is Ugly featuring Lil Baby, which I love so much. It is such a vibe. How did this come to be? Um, that was just, you know, another another just night down here where I'm currently at in the studio in the house. And uh, Boy Wonder sent a pack of beats. And that was just one of the beats. And I did, I did the hook and I did my verse. And I was like, this is crazy. And then Boogus, who's just like the greatest a &R ever, he was like, yo, you should get Lil Baby on this. He would sound crazy. I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Do you still feel like an underdog? 
Or do you feel like you've surpassed underdog status? No, I still feel like an underdog. You could say, oh, well, you've done this and you've done that. You could list accomplishments that I have and stuff and be like, how is he underrated? Because in my opinion, I know what I'm shooting for and I know where I'm trying to get to. And I know I'm not there yet. But do you feel like you still have underdog status with the public eye? Because that's a different thing. I, the more they hate, the bigger the underdog. I think. That's what they don't realize. Because after a while, people get tired of doing what everyone else is doing and they start to question, why are we doing this? And it's the same thing with Kate. It's like, after a while, it's like, why don't we like him again? And then they start becoming fans and that's what's happening. So I feel like the tables are turning. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's a perfect storm right now. The last thing in that sentence, you said that you know where you want to get. Where do you want to get? What is success? When do you be like, all right, I did it. I did what I had to do. When is that moment? There isn't that moment. I'll get a diamond song and be like, well, I want another one. I'll sell out Madison Square Garden. I'm like, well, I want to sell it out three times. Or, oh, but you made $50 million on Forbes this year. Yeah, but I want to make $100 million. So, like, there's never a finish line. You feel me? I think success is, is really... Uh, it's a mindset and I've been successful since I was born mentally because I felt like I was always living my truth and, and going after what I wanted to go after and doing what made me happy. So I've been successful my whole life. The appetite comes with the meal type of thing. The more you get, <laughs> the more you want. Y'all so, hear that? That's yeah, my birthday twin right there. That's my birthday twin dropping facts. That's what we do. That's what we do <laughs> as birthday twins. Okay, right there.